Chris, we've definitely been seeing a lot of heat here in the Concha Valley. What was today's high? Today's high was 104 degrees, and it looks to me that the last two months have been significantly hot, it's giving us a start, hot start to our summer. So May of 2018, this year, this May, it's been the fourth hottest on record here in San Angelo. And June, this past June, it has been the second hottest on record. And so when you average those two temperatures, average temperatures up for May and June, it has been the hottest record with the average at 83.1 degrees. So we're definitely dealing with some hot temperatures. And we can expect those for the next couple of days. So as we get into to, uh, this afternoon we did see that beautiful sunset take place as that sunset we did see those orange and yellow colors and this was sent from Jashan Box and this is taken in San Angelo and as we look for the past few hours here we did see those time lapse of those storms making their way through the Concho Valley here and as we look into the next uh, few hours we are starting to see those storms take place but we did see that pretty sunset as we head into those afternoon hours here as we get into this evening hours but our, our temperatures have been relatively hot as we go into the next couple of days, but right now we're sitting at a 86 degrees. It feels like 87. It means at 46 percent. Winds moving southwest at 10 miles an hour. Current temperatures at the moment, we are sitting at 86 here in San Angelo, 87 in Wall, sitting at 81 in Sterling City, 90 in Roosevelt. And so we are looking at these storms that are still taking place here in the Concho Valley with uh, these storms off to the west of us. It looks to me they are still dealing with some lightning and some rain as we look into the next. Uh, they're dealing with some flooding conditions out in Big Lake. So our, next, our rain totals right now are seeing about a, a one to two inches of rain. And these were from those storms that were in Reynolds County yesterday. Those storms that took place in Ballinger, they kind of stuck or stuck around for the uh, as we looked into the evening hours. And then right there in Barnhart, we did see about a half an inch to an inch of rain. So our future cast is showing us clearing on out as we get into uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. And then clearing out into 81 degrees, 100, 100 degrees as we go into the evening hours. And then clearing out to 86 degrees as we get into Tuesday morning. So tomorrow is going to be fairly sunny as as we go into the next couple of days, but then our chances of rain will start ramping up as we get into the later half of the week. But our wind speeds at the moment, we're seeing our wind speeds at 10 miles an hour here in San Angelo, 6 miles an hour in Sterling City, 13 miles an hour in El Dorado. So it's relatively calm at the moment. So we're keeping an eye on this disturbance that's going to be coming through midweek. And this is going to be fueling the energy for some storms and some possible rain for our forecast from Wednesday all the way until next Sunday. So this atmospheric energy is associated with the disturbance that is taking place place and as we go into the Wednesday we are starting to see this uh, take place here as we go into those next uh, couple of days but right now if you're traveling around for the 4th of July, we are going to get up to 102 degrees. It's going to be a hot Monday and Tuesday. And as we look into Wednesday, we're going to start seeing this rain associated with this disturbance making its way through the state of Texas, getting down to 92 degrees. That's the good news here is that we are going to have some relatively cool temperatures for us here in San Angelo. We're not going to be dealing with these temperatures that are in the hundreds as we go into the end of the week. But right now, we are going to be planning out our Monday with a relatively sunny start for our Monday, getting up to 78, up to 103 3 by 4 p.m. and then getting down to tonight around 77 degrees with slight chance of isolated storms. Go, tomorrow, Monday, we're going to get up to 103, very hot, sunny, sticking with that very hot air for the moment. And then we're getting up winds, winds moving out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And so for our seven day forecast, we are seeing our temperatures relatively hot for Monday and Tuesday. It's 4th of July, possibility for some evening showers for your Wednesday evening. And then our chances of rain will start increasing as we head get into Thursday and then warming back up into the upper 90s. But we are still going to have that rain chance continuing from Wednesday all the way to next Sunday. We'll be right back.